Hey, Snow Fighters. It's Mike with Cage here. Today we're going to have a continuation of our um, product enhancements that have already happened. We've already started with the Snow Cage box and we've talked about all the um, enhancements that uh, we've made to that design um, over the past three, four, five years. And today we're going to move on to the uh, blade itself. So all the improvements that have happened again over the past four, five, six years even. Um, and so we're gonna start with the pivot frame today. <clears throat> and one by one, go over these uh, little enhancements and, and tweaks that we've made in the design. And I wanna start by talking about the pin hole area. So I've got a plow standing up here, um, new plow on its face so that you can easily see this attachment plate area. This is one of the critical areas of any snow plow attachment that goes on a skid steer wheel order, right? Um, it's where it attaches to the machine. It takes all that abuse, you know, when you're putting down pressure on this attachment, it's trying to pull away and, and everything. So there's some very critical areas that I want to um, talk about here. Uh, and one of those areas is this pinhole. So this is where your pins come down for your skid steer or other attachment to lock this area in. Um, our attachment plate has always been made out of quarter inch thick steel. Uh, we form it and weld it and whatnot. And we've always had this little quarter inch uh, backer plate inside here that's also welded. So it's, it's half inch thick uh, material that that pin is is resting on when it's you know when you're putting down pressure on this attachment. So half inch thick because it's doubled up quarter inch. Um, uh, probably a couple years into the design, uh, a couple years into our manufacturing the cage plow, uh, we started to have some issues where that even that half inch thick stuff would tear out. Um, it was also becoming very evident to us that you know guys were. Uh, lurching up onto curbs and then going backwards off the curb with the the boom all the way down while your pins Would drag and scrape on that curb even gouging the curb or wrecking pins um, Those pins that hold the attachment on so uh, what we came up with is uh, a way to help increase the rigidity of this plate um, Also strengthen it, you know in the center here, too. So there was a lot of actually this this a four by six tube here that goes all the way to your center pin. Um, there was some flex going on in here, so there's some cracking as well. So this plate here not only prevents this uh, plate from becoming bowed and crack in the center, but it also um, enhances your pinhole strength here and even protects your pins from dragging on the curbs. And I'll show you about this. I have one uh, hooked up to this compact wheel loader and you can actually see where the pins aren't hanging down. So this is hooked up and let me see if I can get this camera lined up. So you don't see any pins hanging down. Whereas this pin, you can actually see that pin is engaged and not really hanging down, so to speak, um, where it would hit on the curbs and, and drag hard on curbs when you're backing over the curb. So that was one of the most critical improvements that we made to the uh, pivot frame attachment. Like I said, that's been going on for probably um, six or seven years already. So it's one of those pretty old improvements, um, nonetheless very important. And we've continued to um, roll that into the, into the new models. All right, hope you enjoyed this uh, first cage improvement video of the Snowblade system.